The Cannondale Flash F3 2011 project is almost finished. This was the $500 project. So the price of the bike, the shipment of oh, the bike was so beaten. And of course, all the parts I need to replace, but there will be very few parts I'm replacing because I don't have much money for this um, uh, project. So all, all in all, should not exceed $500. And it won't. It's a little nasty. This is why I'm showing you how to disassemble and reassemble the headset bearing which is not really designed for being disassembled and assembled back. Mine is really rusty, even damaged in terms of the ceilings, but you will be able to fix it, reuse it with no play, it's just it won't be as smooth, but it will be just okay and without any play in the headset. Pretty bad sound. The upper one, quite okay. So let's get to work. The problem with this bearing is that somebody was probably uh, putting the, the bearing on the fork with a hammer and a screwdriver. So the seals you can see here are already damaged. You can use uh, the paper knife in order to remove those seals uh, and then they won't be damaged. You can really do it with, with any problem. So the phase one for most of you, you would stop just finish at phase one, would be just to clean it like I'm doing it right now without totally disassembling the outer race uh, and the inner race. I'm using the skin cleaner because uh, it really it pushes all the dust, all the dirt through the bearing and it will be clean. You can see right now uh, that it works uh, really well. It will be loud because there is rust on the uh, bearing races. Uh, but now with the pick mm, I'm removing the retainer in order to actually disassemble everything. So you will see how it's, how it's built. Uh, it would be a really good idea to polish uh, those balls and the bearing races um, surface. I didn't do it because probably next year, after this season of training, because this will be my training uh, bike, uh, I will remove uh, and, and replace the bearing. This is the, the upper bearing on the right side and then all the parts from the lower bearing with the balls. And be prepared to lose some <laughs> balls. So, uh, just, just prepare your working area so that you won't lose. These are very tiny ones and while you'll be trying to assemble the bearing back as I'm doing it, it is quite difficult, so maybe just phase one will be enough for you. But if you want to clean it, to put the grease really in between those uh, balls and, and the retainer, you can do it like that. But assembling it here, this is the most tricky part of the, this whole work. You need to keep those two bearing races as I'm doing it so that there will be space for the balls to, to come in. The more balls are already in place, uh, the less additional space between those bearing races will be. So I'm using a pick now to put all those balls just on one side, so that on the other side there is just a little bit more uh, distance between uh, these two uh, bearing races. And the last ones, maybe three or four, uh, I needed to push into the place uh, with the pliers. Not very difficult. I would do it now much quicker. But if you do it, if you're going to do it for the first time, just prepare your working area so that uh, it will just all fall apart for maybe three times. It happened to me twice. Just. Keep the pressure on those bearing races so that the balls will stay where they need to stay. And now, before putting the, uh, the cage, the retainer back, uh, I need to push those uh, balls just around the whole circle, that, uh, if you will, of those uh, races so that there won't be any uh, differences in in the distance now because now I want to have everything in the just just put everything in a symmetrical way uh, and also it will not fall apart right now so now I'm, I'm putting it on the uh, uh, on that cage on that retainer and with the pick I'm placing each ball individually in 
in its place. And this was the, the easiest part of, of the work. Now I'm putting more grease that you should do normally because those seals are have been damaged by somebody who was putting the, the bearing on the fatty fork. It's it's really often it's it's really common mistake that you do it with a hammer and a screwdriver and then you damage those those uh, bearings. So now this one will be the upper one and the upper one will go uh, down to the bottom. It works. No play. It's safe. It will be just fine. So now I can just uh, reassemble the fork, put it back on the bike and you will see soon how the whole bike will turn out. Short update. So of course we have the headset bearings overhauled, then the stem, the handlebars, the fork, the brakes, the calipers and the levers cleaned up and then front and rear derailleur. So what's left is actually the bottom bracket and the crankset and then I'm replacing the cables, housings, the saddle and we are ready to go for $500 only.